every one of us, we have a goal or goals that we would like to achieve, am I right? The thing is that some of our goals, ladies and gentlemen, may be short-term goals or long-term goals or just temporary. The important thing is that we stay consistent and focus and keep our eyes on the goals. There are times when we uh, attain our goals, maybe the easy way or the hard way. And we will never be able to reach it. But if we don't lose our heart and keep on working hard, a goal can be accomplished. And I know that you will agree with me that it's about your heart right now that we're going to talk. All goals can be achieved with that, ladies and gentlemen. To start with, of course, like to achieve your goals, you must have the right vehicle. And I would like to welcome you once again to N World because this is the vehicle for you to get your goals in life. And always remember this, that goals comes from the dreams and then goals and becomes a reality. The in-between is what we're going to tackle today. And for you to start with, you must have the right vehicle. Just like if you like to go to one place, you have to have a vehicle so that you'll arrive there. And the business package is your vehicle your goals in life. There's a saying that people do not plan to fail. And I think you agree with me. Who among you is planning to fail? <laughs> All right, of course, nobody plans to fail. Am I right? Definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. Remember, the thing is that what happened is that some people, they fail to plan. A plan is important because it's the foundation to help you achieve your ultimate goals. Having a plan helps you to stay focused, set your goals and objectives, meet your deadlines and measure success. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Where are you with this one right now? That's why we have this one so that we can move on to the next chapter of our life. And that is how we have to learn how to plan, not failing to plan. Remember, our goal is something we decide in advance to do, to have or to become within a certain time limit. That certain time limit, ladies and gentlemen, is for you to decide. If you have a goal, I don't know what goals you have. Put a time in there. You have to put a time in there. It's not just, I would like to have savings of this much and what will you do next, okay? So when would you like to achieve it? How do you plan to achieve it? What are your, what are your strategies to achieve it? How will you get that? When will you execute it? There's a lot of things to in achieving a goal. It's not like, oh, I like to have a goal. And then you wish for a genie to come. And the genie said, Master, what is your command or what is your wish? That will never happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's only in the movies, just like in the movies. Okay? Today, you have to be certain of what plans do you have, what goals would you like to achieve, and when would you like to achieve it? And once you have decided that, what will be the actions that you have to take? You have to take. Why am I telling you this? The reason behind that, once you have a goal, you will now start to prioritize the things that you have in life. Be before you are just good in gallivanting or just going somewhere else, moving around, not thinking what is tomorrow. No, no, this time it has to change. This time when you wake up, what should I do? What's your plan for the day? Is it getting to your goals? It is giving you a focus to your goals or straying you away from it? It's a decision that you have to make because right now, time is so short. Remember that, yeah? We don't know what will happen next. Praise God, we still have time to do that. Then put that a certain time limit. It's just like when you go to school. If you have, have good grades, then you study, study, study. When the exams comes, boom, you're good. If you don't study, then you're somewhat like, like the song, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Nah. It's not like that. You have to remember, you have to have a plan, please, ladies and gentlemen, on what do you do with your goals in life? 
Goals give us number one, okay? It gives us what you call direction. What is your direction? Where are you going? At this age, what would you like to have? What would you like to achieve in life? This is now about reality. This is now, this is not talking about the future that is in your hands. The best part is that you are in N word. Mean to say you can dictate your future. You can do your future. You can make your destiny. You can do that. Cause everything is in your hands. It is not with somebody else. Remember, it's not with your sponsor. Your sponsor, you have to thank them for bringing you to N word. Really thank them. Now it's up to you. Your sponsor has nothing to do with you because they have their own goals in life too. All you have to do is thank you, ask them for their guidance, ask them for their wisdom every now and then. Still, it will be you who will be doing the, the legwork because this is your dream. This is your goals. <clears throat> it's not theirs. It's yours. We're talking about you. Don't look at your left and right person who is with you. It's you I'm talking about. It's you. Remember that. I don't want you to have that when you wake up the next morning, you will have this kind of attitude. Oh, man. Where will I go, left or right? Okay. Is that happening to you right now? With this situation like this? When you wake up, oh, what am I gonna do? There's a lot of things you can do, actually. There's a lot of things you can do. <clears throat> Don't give reasons. Once you start to give reasons, you get to start to get excuses, then you'll never find the right direction in life. You'll never find the right direction in life. And that is so hard. I don't like the time that when you're gonna flick your fingers. Remember that? When you flip your fingers, that's a big loss already. I don't like the time when you say, oh man, I should have listened. Oh man, I was there. Oh man, no man, okay? No, 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 no. Right now I want you to slap your face and wake up so that you'll have the right direction in life. You can only have the right direction in life Remember this, ladies and gentlemen, when you put a goal in front of you and then put a timeline for that so that you will have a direction in life. How come when you're going to pay your debts, I mean your, your electric bill all right, and your water bill, you know the direction where to go. And yet sometimes, no, most of the time right now, you'll be thinking where to get that money for you to pay. Still, you will have a direction to pay them because they are needed. And my point is, what are you going to do about it? Would you just like to let, you know, lie down and let the money drop from your ceiling? I guarantee you one thing, money will not drop. The ceiling will drop on you. So wake up, little Susie, wake up. Put directions in your life, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I like. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I like that. Yeah. I like that. Remember, okay? everybody has climbed a mountain. Each and every one of us. Literally speaking, not all has climbed a mountain, but methodologically speaking, each and every one of us, when you conquer something in your life, you have climbed a mountain. And once you have climbed a mountain, what's the feeling when you're there? The feeling that you have, you know, yeah, remember that? Remember that? <clears throat> remember when your car will not start and you push it and when it starts, ah, oh, the feeling, remember the feeling? Or remember the feeling when you have, you're handled by the key for your car? No, not the feeling. Remember the feeling when you get your first package. What was the feeling? You were alive. There was life in you. Because you know you have now the right vehicle to get your goals. And that is a, a mountain that you have climbed. And my point is when you are in that mountain, okay, on top of the mountain, what do you see? When you get your package, what do you see now? Okay? You see the people around you? No, 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 no. Okay? Find people that you can bring on top of the mountain. Look for them. Find people that you can offer and share and give hope because you have end world with you. Give them hope, ladies and gentlemen. That is the mountain that you should be climbing. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> typically a mountain when you climb a mountain it's lonely out there it's nice it's nice though <clears throat> but it would be better if there'll be a lot of it that you're going to bring up and see also the beauty of being on top of the mountain this is now what you call a task for you to do this is a task for you to do the reason i'm telling this is a task for you to do it is when you help other people to become successful in life you start now to get your goals also so it's not only you getting your goals other and who help them you yourself wouldn't it be nice that people will just come and hug you and say thank you for everything even if you don't know them because they belong to your group this is what you have to feel and see remember that ladies and gentlemen this is what you have to feel and see motivation is very important in life okay i love to i love to all, always love to have you know motivation in life <clears throat> you know you have to motivate your life i like to share to you a story there's a story of a carpenter working in a big house uh, house construction firm and working there for about uh, 20 years he he asked <clears throat> his boss sir sir i would like to you know i would like to retire i would like to spend time with my family you know my extended family my relatives i would like to do that the boss you know he knows that this guy is is really work hard is really good at it he said okay but uh he felt someone like should i let him go but why he has a reason you know he has a reason he has also a goal that to be with his family so he said can you do me one thing <clears throat> the carpenter said uh what is that boss can you build me one last house to be your project before you retire for us just one because he's really very very good so the carpenter said okay i'll do that i'll do that so but this time the carpenter started to lose the enthusiasm the excitement cause he is looking forward for the retirement so meaning to say he did not do the overtime anymore to finish the house you know he's just on his own time he did not get the best mixing of cement you know he didn't get the best the best uh, furnitures because you know it is his last time this is his last project yeah, and then he did not even think of building a swimming pool nothing like that it was just instead of making the best because it is his last now what he did he only just this a, a simple house and even even use a cheap materials for that imagine that then on the day of his retirement there was a party and then because he's a good uh, employee and they congratulated him and at the last to speak was the owner the ceo of the company said my friend cause you are retiring now <clears throat> i would like to give you a key and said so what is this key that is the key of the house that you made that is yours imagine that you do not put the best then you get the worst our life is a do it yourself project let me repeat that our life is a do it yourself project your attitude and the choices you make today will help build your house will help build you in getting your dreams remember that ladies and gentlemen therefore i want you to build wisely build wisely don't ever go on a relaxed mode ladies and gentlemen beat yourself to the max motivate yourself to the max it is so important it is only when you are pressed the best of you will come out remember the adrenaline rush will you will come out you have to be motivated nobody can motivate you except you and you can only be motivated because you're looking something in advance you are claiming something in advance and this is your goals in life remember how excited you are if you're going to attend on on a wedding even though you will not be the one to be wed you're excited you can buy your shoes your dress you know your your everything your makeup or your suit you got to take care you're so motivated because you're excited and 
when you get there, everything is good. After the party, there's nothing anymore. Why don't you be motivated? Because what you're gonna get is for your lifetime, your lifetime dreams, not only for you, also for your family. Then the motivation should come from you, ladies and gentlemen. That's why if you go to work on your goals, your goals will go to work on you. If you go to work on your plans, there we go again, your plans will go to work on you. Whatever good things we build end up building us. Isn't that good? Whatever you sow, you reap. Whatever you plant, you harvest. That's the best part. That's the best part when you do end work. You plant, you harvest. And remember, one seed, one mango seed can bear a lot of fruits. And aren't you glad you're with us today? You are with a family of N World. Look up to this. Look up to this. Look up to this. That's why goals right now are so important in life. We just cannot, cannot just put it aside and tell tomorrow we'll do it for itself. No, it is us. You have to plan for that. Your life. Your family depends on this one. Okay. Oh my God. Now, focus, ladies and gentlemen. Focus is so important in getting your goals in life. One sage, sage is, is a master, an instructor, a sensei, a teacher, a professor. He is a master on archery. He told his two students, about 50 meters, what do you see? They said, oh, there's a, a, a bird, a wooden bird, not a real bird, okay? A wooden bird. And the sage said, I want you to shoot an arrow and hit the eye of the bird. Whoa, man, hit the eye of the bird? Imagine that. All right. He called the first student and said, now, you have my instruction, before you hit that, you, before you start pulling your bow with your arrow, my question is, what do you see? The first student says, master, I see the branches of the trees. I see some rabbits, squirrels running by and uh, the wind, uh, I can feel it. And he was supposed to say a lot of things. The master said, stop, have a seat. He called the next student. He said, what do you see? Master, I see the eye of the bird. Then hit it. And he pulled his bow with his arrow and released it. It hit there. The reason behind that, this guy, the next student was so focused. Remember that obstacles will be the one to pull you away <clears throat> from your focus, will be the one to pull you away from achieving your dreams. And who are these obstacles? Are they given to us? No. Most obstacles are man-made. And most often, we are the man that made those obstacles. So if you let be able to get your goals in life, don't blame somebody else. Don't blame somebody else. It is you. You have lost your focus. So starting today, ladies and gentlemen, Whatever your goals and dreams in life, focus on it. It's only when you focus on it that you'll be able to achieve it. That's why focus in anything that you do, it is so important. Try, try, you know, try, try to hammering a nail and don't focus on it. Good luck, okay? Remember, if you want to get your goals, there's a price to pay. Are you willing for that price to pay? Are you willing to let go of some of the parties you cannot attend? Are you willing not to go to the movie because you have a meeting, a one-on-one -on -one presentation, or you have a group meeting? Remember, these are things that, you know, these are the things that you have to pay. It doesn't come on a silver platter. I haven't seen any person that becomes successful in life that did not pay for the price. And that pay for the price. Remember that? <clears throat> you have to learn how to pay for the price. 
I've seen, I've talked to a lot of people, they were even humiliated in front of a lot of people before they become successful. Question, if you'll be humiliated, what will you do? You will stop? Why, if you will be humiliated, my question is, are you going to have a Are you going to have a cancer? Are, are you going to lose your ear or lose your eye? No, you'll still be that person. And remember, you have to be willing to pay the price. It's not cheap, ladies and gentlemen, it's not cheap, but the reward is so fantastic. Pay the price, get ready for that. How to achieve our goals? First, ladies and gentlemen, to achieve our goals, we need a burning desire. A burning desire. Your reason, your dream, your goal should be crystal clear and there should be a fire inside you to light up, to achieve what you have decided. There should be a fire inside you to light up. <clears throat> One commander said, we're going to war. He's going to war when ensure, and he's very sure that The number of his are not quite as the number of the other commander out there. It's about one is to 10. He decided we're going to a war. So they boarded the ship and then went there for a war. Men were saying, man, this is crazy. This is really crazy. One person has to kill 10. And look at us, look at us right now. It's so crazy. Everybody was thinking that. When they arrived, they went off the ship. And once they went off the ship, the commander said, send the ship back about 50 meters. They did that and he commanded, burn the ship. Burn the ship. What happened, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think the military, this, this army of his will be doing? He said, remember this, we win or we perish. We win or we perish. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut all sources of losing cut all resources of retreating. Only by doing so, one can be assured of maintaining the state of mind known as burning desire to win, which is very essential to become successful in life. Always remember, desire is the starting point of all achievement. You believe in that? Do you agree with me on that? Not hope, okay? Not wish. So if you have that burning desire within you, which pushes you to reach out for your goals, then there's nothing that can stop you. And I believe you agree with me with that one. Remember, don't let temporary defeats pull you down. There'll be, there'll be instances that, you know, the, the, the situation will, will have a result that is not good. Don't, don't look to things pull you down. The most successful people in end world, remember this, they faced lots of challenges. They believe that to be a top earner, it's, it's just a piece of cake. No, there's a lot of challenges out there. Even they have defeats also, but they never quit. They never, what do you say? Can you say that? They never quit. Don't you ever quit. And you know why? Because you have the burning desire to go for the dreams, your dreams, and you're gonna achieve it. So don't quit. Tell yourself, me, not a quitter, but a fighter. I like that. Not a quitter, but a fighter, right? Have that burning desire, ladies and gentlemen. Have that burning desire. Don't let that thing go away. Have that burning desire. You have to be willing, willing to give time. Willing to give time. If you will not give time, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be in the losing end. Willing to give time. Willing to give time. One rich person, very rich. 
living in a province or in a county. He noticed that a lot of things. So he put in the newspaper. Remember this, he put in the newspaper. He advertised. <clears throat> if you have debts, bring all the receipts that is payable and then come to my office. I will be open from nine o'clock to 12 noon. And I will pay your debts. A lot of people line up that day. A lot of people line up, definitely. Definitely. Now, if you can, if you've been listening, I said line up. I didn't tell you that they went in. They just line up. They just line up and they're talking about it. Is it really true? Is it really true? Is it really true? They just line up. They just line up. One person, one person. Believe in it. He says, I will go there. I will go inside. He knocked. Remember, they've been lined up for many hours already. The person knocked and the rich man was there and said, oh, hi, come on in. What are those people out there doing? Oh, they're having their receipts. Oh, okay. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, sir, you said that on the newspaper, you made an announcement that if I have to bring my, all my receipts, this is payable, you're gonna pay for them. Sure. Oh, really? So this is true? Yes. Okay. So he gave all the receipts and the rich guy happily wrote down the check how much the total was. And he said, okay, pay them now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And he left. As he stepped out of the door, the people said, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Did, you give, did he give you money? Yeah, look at this. Everybody was looking at it. Whoa, there's a check that you have to pay. Yeah, and everybody started to rush in. But, but the door was closed already because it was already 12 noon. From 9 a.m., they lined up. They wasted their time. They wasted their time just talking, analyzing. If you keep on analyzing, you will be, if you keep on analyzing, what happened to you? Your life will be on a paralyzed mode. It will never ever move on. That's what they say, you analyze, you'll be paralyzed. What happened? The moment they decided, the opportunity was not there anymore. What are you doing with your time? That you have to answer on your own. Achieving, always here. Goal getting, always here. Goals, dreams to become a reality, you know it now. My question is you. What time are you willing to give? Believe, ladies and gentlemen, you have to believe. You have to believe. If you will never believe, wow, a lot of things will happen to you. Yeah? Number one, nothing will happen to you. See that? That's a lot of things. Nothing will happen to you. Yeah? You have to believe. You have to believe. You have to believe. Please. You have to believe. Believe that you can. You can. You can. You can. You know, you have to believe. You have to make a believe in yourself. You have to believe. I like, I'm in the mood of telling stories right now. There's a, there's a lot of frogs, they have a contest who can go up the tower and everybody started, everybody started to climb and they fell, climb, they fell, you know. <clears throat> Old frogs started also to try, they fell. And then, then one frog started to go up and another started and they fell and one, one, ev almost everyone was on the ground and one small frog started to go up, started to go up. Yeah. Started to go up, started to go up. A lot of frogs were telling them, you cannot do it. We were not able to do it. You cannot achieve it. Come down. It's, it's, it's insane. It's insanity. You cannot do it. You have, you are nothing. Come on, you're still young or you're still old or anyway, just you have to come down. Everybody was telling him that this frog keep on Keep on, keep on, keep on, and then he was up there. Then when he came down, everybody was excited. So they interviewed him. How, how did you do that? The frog didn't answer. The frog just 
look at them one by one. I said, how did you do that? He didn't answer. A lot of frogs shouted, how did you do that? He didn't answer. The reason behind that is deaf. He cannot hear. So all the while he was thinking they were cheering on him. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to believe. You have to believe. Never listen to people that are negative. Never listen to people that are pessimistic. They take your dreams and your goals away from you. Be deaf when people tell you that you cannot get your goals. Remember, this is your life. Do not let anybody dictate you. This is your dream. This is your goal. And you would like it to become a reality. Then believe in yourself. Believe that you can believe. The best part of it is give a commitment. Give a commitment that you will, that you will, you know, you. Commitment is very important. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. There's a big difference between involvement and committed. Which one are you? Are you just involved or are you committed? Are you just involved in your goals or are you committed to getting your goals and dreams? You can answer that yourself. I will not guess that for you. But I believe right now, attending this training, you have a commitment for that. A lot of people out there are out there. They knew about the training. They didn't come. It doesn't matter. The best part is that, oh, I like to say hello also to the people on the YouTube. Yeah. The best part is that you have to make a commitment. I'd like to share to you another story. Man, I'm full of stories today. Okay. There's a pig and a hen. Okay. You know it's a pig, definitely. You know it's a hen. Yeah. The church said, "Oh, we're going to we're going to give a charity <clears throat> uh, program uh, on uh, on next Sunday. We're going to give food to those uh, street children out there." So the hen said, "Hey, pig, let's give the pig a name. Porky, Porky pig. Hey, Porky pig. Fine, let's help them out." And the porky pig said, yeah, we can do that. Oh, ah, yeah, 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 we can do that. We can help them out. Let's feed those people out there. I like feeding people. I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay. So what, what are we going to do? The hen said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'll give some eggs. Okay. And, uh, you, that me, yeah, porky pig, yeah. What will I do? You give bacon. Porky pig, look at him. He said, man, you know what? The eggs that you're going to give you still be alive. You will just be involved. While the bacon I will give, I have to die. It is commitment, which is heavier now in life. I asked you now, are you a pig or a hen to your goals and dreams in life? And you can answer that yourself. Write down your goals. You have to write down your goals. You know, when we put your goals, when we put our goals in black and white, you have taken the first tangible step to accomplish it. Remember? What you have first in life is a dream. Once you write it down, it becomes now a goal. It becomes now a goal. You have taken the first tangible step by writing it. Nothing in this world come up without in a black and white. Do you believe me? Do you think the airplane will just come out without putting it on the drawing table? Do you believe the boat will be there without drawing it on a black and white first? Everything has to come on a black and white. That's why I would like you to write your goals. Put them in the black and white. The reason behind that, the goal passes from the realm of ideas to the world of reality. Remember, from the idea, you write it, becomes a goal, becomes a reality, 
because by this part in here, you now put your commitment, you put your dedication, you do not listen to negative people, you believe in yourself that you can do it. The best part, you put timetable when you're gonna achieve it, and what I love most, you are with N World, and all things are possible with us, ladies and gentlemen. So it passes from the realm of ideas to the world of reality, thereby crystallizing our vision getting our direction and increasing our power to, to achieve it. Woo, that's the best part. You now achieve it. Aren't you glad about it? It's a different thing once you achieve it. If you were on my last training, what was my last training about? If I remember it right. Ah. Maximizing your full potential. If you were there, I know you can relate to what I'm talking about. Everything that I am giving you right now is giving you a domino effect for you to become successful in life. That's why if you miss those things, or you can go back to the YouTube, you can check it out also. You can go there. So you will know what this is all about. You will know what it's all about. This is now a time that we have to put positive things in our brain, in our mind, so the negative things will go away, will go away. Write down your goals. After this training today, before going to sleep, write down your goals. What are your goals? Short-term, long-term goals. Start writing it. Husband and wife, do one goal or do separate goals, compare, so you will know the right direction. Remember the direction that you are going to go. All right? Remember that. If you are with your family, with your kids, let them join in too. Share to them what you have learned today. This is for everybody. Learning is for everybody. Getting your goals is for everybody. Set a deadline. The reason behind that is that a goal Without a deadline is just a dream. A wishful thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Just a wishful thinking. So please, don't let all the knowledge that you have stay there. Remember this, you have to learn how to plan, get Set your goals, do some planning, what you're going to do about it, how to achieve it, then execute, work on it, work on it, so that it will become now a reality. So please don't let that goal of yours just stay in your mind. Don't let that goals of yours fly like an eagle in the sky. No, not this time. We have to do something about it. Visualize your goal. Visualization is so important in life. Number one reason why it's so important in life, it breaks your paradigm. It breaks the mediocre thinking that we have. It gives us life. A lot of people that did not become successful in life because of self-pity. We're gonna break that. We're gonna pull you out from there. We're gonna pull you out from there because you deserve more. Then visualize your goal. What would you like to have? Just you know, that simple house. Hey, hey, now wahoo, eh? And simple cars. That's luxury. Yes, why? You don't believe you can do it? Then what happened? You start now to retreat. Remember? You start now to retreat then you'll never be able to achieve that. You have to burn the shape that you have right now. Burn that mentality, burn that thinking, burn that fear in you, get it away from you. And just said, I can get this, I can have this. Believe, ladies and gentlemen. That's why visualizing is so important in life. You have to learn how to do that. When you go to the mall, when you see something and you just said, you are mine. I'll come back because you are mine. Visualize it. Very important in this one. Time freedom. When would you like to have this one? 
This is what is waiting for you. This is what is waiting for you. Remember? Man, this is the best part in life. You know, time freedom. You can go anywhere you like. You can go anywhere you like. This time you become unstoppable. Remember that. You can only become unstoppable in life when you have that burning desire, the fire in you, the fire in you. Do not let that fire in you die down. Do not let that fire in you die down. The fire in you will give more fire if you will have other people with the same mentality, the same goals, positive thinking people in your group. That will keep a bonfire really, really huge, ladies and gentlemen. So look at this. This is what is waiting for you. Nobody can tell you what is waiting for you. Here in N World, you have the right vehicle. You are there already. You are there already. I want you to begin with the N in mind. N in mind. See pictures with N in mind. I am there already. I am there already. I want you to see that. I want you to see that. Time freedom. I want you to see that. Without time freedom, you cannot achieve your goals and dreams in life. You have to get your goals and dreams in life, you are going to have time freedom. And a lot of things starts, ladies and gentlemen, really to be very, very good once you have this. I want you to look at this picture. I want you to see yourself. See yourself with your family. See yourself with your loved ones. I want you now to see that. I don't want you to see the dark side. I want you to see the bright side. Time freedom. Time freedom. I want you to make your dream board. I want you to make your dream board. Dream board is very important. It gives you direction. It wakes you up. It starts to give you life. It starts to give you the right fire in you. The right fire in you. Put a dream board there. You have to see that. You have to see that. You have to see where you're going to. You have to believe in that. You have to believe in that. Florence Chadwick is a swimmer. He crossed the English Channel and back and forth. That's about 33 kilometers for 16 hours and, 30 and 22 minutes. Imagine that, swimming 16 hours and 22 minutes. That was on August 8, 1950. At the age of 34, he would like to cross Catalina Island to Palos Verde on the California coast. This time it's 40 kilometers. So on July 4, 1952, she started swimming from Catalina Island to Palos Verdes. Remember, it's not an ordinary water. It's ice cold water, ladies and gentlemen. Freezing, really. This thing. The only thing that is an obstacle, the obstacle that's, that she has, that she has, that was a dense fog. He cannot see. He cannot even see the support boats that is being, that's you know, moving along with her. She cannot really see, but she keeps on swimming. And one of the support boats was her mother and her trainer, telling her, "You can do this." Cheering up, "You can do this. You can do this. You can do this." What happened is that Florence Chadwick cannot see because of the fog. So she just said, I, I can't do this. I cannot see. And he asked to be pulled up. So they pulled her up. Talking to the reporters, he says, I give you no excuses. If only I could have seen the land beyond the fog. And it will achieve my goals. The point is, he did not see it. After two months, he tried it again. With faith 
intact. And her goal is clearly there. He already have seen the land, even though he just started to swim. He already seen the land. He begin with the end in mind. He already have seen his, her dream board, her car, her life, the time freedom be with her family and everything that he already has seen that and her dream board is the land even though he hasn't been there yet she have already seen it. even the dense fog was there she did not mind because she have already seen it ladies and gentlemen and she believed in it so what happened eh? she was able to get it she knew that somewhere beyond the fog is the land and he was able to get there she alone was able to swim that. And only two persons, those are male, was able to swim. Today's story is a great example of person who learned from weakness to become a stronger and more determined to meet her goal. I would like you to be like one. I would like you to be stronger. I would like you to be more determined so that whatever your dream board, you will be able to achieve. Nothing is impossible. I would like to share to you the goal setting in a short time of meaning of SMART. First, be specific of what you like of your goals and be sure that this is measurable, attainable, relevant. Whatever goals that you should be relevant to your life, relevant to your life, that's the most important thing. Because what is relevant to your life, ladies and gentlemen, you know that you have already gotten it, you already felt it, because this is relevant to your life. This has to talk about your heart. And I've been talking this one over and over again is it should be time bounded, time bound. A lot of people have goals and dreams in life, no time. What happened? You can answer that for me. Were they able to achieve it? That, I really don't know. All goals can be achieved through <coughs> work. Say to yourself, work, 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 work. The reason behind that is that you are, ladies and gentlemen, are doing networking. It is not net sleeping, nor net sitting, nor net flexing. Oh my gosh, yeah, net flexing. Okay. Remember that. Yeah. For you, for you to become a king, you have to work for it. Remember that. This is networking, please work. The reason behind that, what are you gonna do and world or not? You're still gonna be working or else you'll not be able to feed your family or else you can even feed yourself. I, and world gives you the opportunity to achieve your goals and dreams in life. Same time, remember? Time, how you'll spend it? Think about that, think about that. I like to show to you, share to you this one.
Did you like that? Okay. I like that one. Okay. How will I go the next part? All right, so hold on while I go to my next slide, but I know you like that, right? Imagine you never stop. You never stop. I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you have learned a lot of things today. And I want you to really try to see where you are right now and what kind of life is waiting for you. Okay. I'd like to go to my slides. Next. I like play Kaba or just slides. Next. Remember, when you don't give up, you cannot fail. Let me repeat that. When you don't give up, you cannot fail. Never be a quitter. Champions never become a quitter, ladies and gentlemen. Only people who quit becomes losers. So for that, I would like to say thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be sharing to you. And to everybody, I would like to say to God be the glory. Maraming salamat po sa Lagalog. Ehe nawaho for Nigeria and in Italy that I read all Thank you very much and don't go away. Okay, we're going to have a picture